Okay, so we're using a 12 inch auger to auger these holes. Um, here in Michigan, we gotta be 42 inches for the, the look to be below the frost line. So that auger on the tractor there is easily 42 inches, maybe a little bit more. But as you pull it out, you drop a lot of loose sand in the hole. So I just take the regular pulse hole digger and just grab that loose sand. I want to get to good undisturbed soil. Just about all that loose sand out, I'll take a piece of wood and tap it down. Chase, hand me that 2x3 there. Anything else that's in there that's a little bit loose, I just want to make sure it's nice and tamped down, nice and flat. And then that's where our 12 inch cement cookie is going to sit. That's the foundation for our pole. So these precast cookies are the foundation. They have a little metal rod right in the center that you can fabricate a hook to lift them up and drop them in the hole. It's a little bit tricky so you don't want to drop it before it's on the bottom. Just lower it all the way in there. Like that. Make sure she's sitting flat. Sitting down there. So the 12 inch cookie is what keeps the building from sinking into the ground. That's our foundation. And we're below frost line, so we, sh we should not get any frost heave. To make doubly sure we don't get any frost heave, I'm gonna take a piece of pressure treated two by four, about 10 inches long, and I'm gonna screw it to the side of the pole. So then once it's back filled, all that uh, a fill compacted down on top of this will ensure that that pole does not heave and get pushed out of the ground. A lot of people think that you have to fill the hole full of concrete around the pole. Um, here in my area the building inspector will not allow that. Not unless you completely coat this pole with a mastic that keeps it separated from the concrete. Because the lime and the concrete apparently eats away at the copper in the pressure treatment and it'll rot that pole out. It'll also trap water against it. So the only concrete I have is the precast cookie at the bottom of the hole. The rest of it's going to be backfilled with just sand. So we want to make sure our pole is plumbed up and an inch and a half back from the line. So I'm about plumb right there so we got to get pushed forward. Nothing's touching our string, right? So Chase, grab the 2 by 3 behind you. Okay, so we have our pole is an inch and a half back from the line when it's plumb. It's eight foot from the outer edge of the building corner to the center of this pole. And now we're just going to start backfilling it. So we just put about maybe a foot of sand around it. And then tap all that down with a piece of 2 by all the while making sure it stays plumb. And then we'll just keep filling it up from there making sure the pole stays plumb.